Are you the Judean people's front? Fuck off. What? Well, the people's front of Judea. Now, I remember late night we were watching this, and I remember it was uh, Eurovision in Ireland, and the break came on, and, you know, you're just kind of watching all the stuff here and watching all the different songs and the, the comments or whatever. And I'm, I'm living in Australia, and I'm far away from it all, so it really doesn't affect me. Anyway, the break comes on, and uh, they introduce this thing, and uh, next thing you know, you got these Irish dancers, and I thought, okay, they're promoting Ireland, and um, they're promoting the, the local culture, which is kind of what Eurovision tends to do. They're wearing shoes with taps on it, and now they're starting to introduce a lot of tap stuff. I remember at the end of it, I'm going, I know I've seen something truly unique. It was one of those moments where I just remember it. And I mentioned that the next day uh, to my then partner. And sure enough, you know, six months later or nine months later, river dance becomes a whole thing. So once again, this is one of those rocky moments where ordinary people and trying to do something and it comes together. And, um, and as you know, it doesn't happen very often. And so when it does, we should celebrate it. So anyway, enjoy the show. Jean Butler, um, she's doing the traditional sort of stuff. She's doing a lot of interesting techniques, techniques that weren't around. Of course, um, Michael Flatley comes along and he's got the taps on. mixing it up now so he's still got the Irish dancing thing but he's also got the tapping side happening which is very very exciting to watch and he's of course super talented Apparently there was some debate about the music, the, the final piece, and um, they weren't too sure whether it was appropriate. And uh, Michael Flatley said, "No, no, no. It sounds like it sounds like horse race, where everybody's coming home, and uh, you know you're getting excited, and you want the horse to, to win." And I, I think he was right on the money. It was excellent. ensemble joins them and it just brings it all home very very well super exciting there was a time when they were going oh we're not sure if this will work let's put it on Eurovision for 10 minutes and see how it goes gauge the audience reaction you'll see the audience reaction
Now, this 10 minutes eclipsed the entire Eurovision competition that night. It was just the best thing, even better than all the other acts. It was hilarious. I definitely got the feeling that I, tr I truly witnessed something uh, unique. This is just following on from the river dance. If you have a look at uh, Jean Butler doing some of some of these, man, I don't know how she doesn't break her ankles. These are sort of very traditional sort of things. I think they're called it's called rocking. I don't know how she doesn't break her ankles.